I got something right in front of me. This is a bit upsetting when I read this kind of stuff. This is from the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Um, this is out just recently. It's uh, disturbing because it points to the direction that America's going in. Um, it says UAB researchers find that 40% of young American adults, this is young American adults, 18 of 44, have insulin resistance and cardiovascular risk factors. This is 18 to 44. A recent study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism by researchers at the University of Alabama Birmingham found that nearly 40% of young adults without diabetes experience insulin resistance, a condition in which the body does not respond correctly to insulin and is unable to use glucose from the body for energy. Presence of insulin resistance is thought to be the precursor to development of diabetes and potentially fatal cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death. It goes on to say, despite the growing recognition in the medical community of the onset of cardiometabolic diseases, we, do not, we did not have the good understanding of insulin resistance among young adults. This motivated us to evaluate cardiometabolic diseases among young adults due to insulin resistance and early quantitative surrogate of cardiometabolic health. So we have a major problem in this country. This is with the young people, too. And as we get older, we're looking at over the age of 55, 80% of our population over that age falls in the same category, 80%. So it goes from 40 to 80. That's 8 out of 10 people. So with that being said, I've got a friend of mine in the studio, Jim McMillan. Okay, he's going to help me get my show up on YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel, but, you know, I'm ignorant when it comes to the Internet. And Jim's been with me. How long now, Jim? Uh, I think March 4th was my first time in. Okay, and you weighed what? Uh, 265. And what did you weigh today? Uh, 202. And how old are you? Uh, 63. Jim eats like Lance. Yep. Doesn't exercise like Lance, but he's getting close. <laughs> but, you know, no, no one really exercises like Lance. At Lance. Well, yeah, they do, but, you know, I'm just... Just jazzing, Jim. Anyhow, and I'll tell tell the experience. What motivated you to come in and see me? So it's interesting. I uh, I I actually you know didn't think I was feeling bad. You know what you don't know can't hurt you type of thing. But I didn't like the way my clothes were fitting, and I just you know I've been listening to Lance's program on the weekends because I work at home, and I just thought you know what I need to do something about this weight. This is getting ridiculous. So um, I made an appointment, came down, and um. I think we were almost two months in, and I've been on blood pressure medication for years, and I started getting lightheaded, come to find out that I didn't need a blood pressure medication anymore. My last blood pressure bill was actually single to mile, a fifth of May. And I remember that day, because it was, you know, like, it's the last day I had a blood pressure bill. My blood pressure's been literally falling every morning within two points of 120 over 80, which shocks me that it's been that perfect, consistent. Okay, so you were in our, on our program for how long before that happened? Um, well, solid two months, yeah. Yeah, see, here we go. It, it proves, you know, this this way of eating, this lifestyle works, okay? And it would save us as a country a lot of money if people were given the truth about nutrition and exercise. You're just not because it doesn't make pharmaceutical companies rich, okay? You took it upon yourself. You wanted, you looked at something differently. Maybe there's something better out there, and you did something about it. Now you're off all your blood pressure medications, normal blood pressure. What does your doctor say about that? Oh, my doctor loves it that it's all natural. There's no medication uh -huh. involved. So, yeah, it's um, been great. Yeah, and the only one, again, who benefits from that are going to be big pharma. Yeah. And that's when we get this big kick with this Ozampic stuff, you know, and I go, it's just another way for people to get around making lifestyle changes, and then now they find all kinds of side effects of this stuff. Okay, gastroparesis. Yeah. Okay, sorry, some kidney issues. You can't take a drug... Okay, a medication like that that's used for diabetes to, to treat weight loss, all right, is there for a reason. And you can reverse the symptoms of diabetes and reverse diabetes in general, type 2 now, by changing your lifestyle. So you don't need any of those medications over time. But it's called lifestyle change, okay? And that's a bittersweet pill for a lot of people, okay, because they don't want it, they don't have the, well, the willpower to make those changes, which are absolutely necessary. And this is where someone like me comes in because, it helps to make that person accountable. And accountability goes a long way. It's just like I explain this way as an athlete. I used to play high school and college football too. You know, when, when those players go out in the field 
and they prepare for, for practice, I guarantee the practice wouldn't be the same if the coach didn't show up. It's that simple. We'd find ways of not pushing ourselves as hard, and the outcome would be the game where you lose. All right, so in this case, it's called the game of life. So you have a choice. You make a lifestyle change, have a plan, <clears throat> follow the plan, live longer, live more productive, and enjoy your life. Can I add something to that? Yeah. So my wife's 68, so she's following you by one year. Um, how old are you, Rolina? My wife's in studio with us. How old are you? She's 67, so she's a year behind Lance. But, you know, we've been spending all of this time with financial counselors and planning for our future, but we never thought about our physical health and, you know, what is that going to be when we, we actually have time to retire and start doing things? And, you know, looking back at it now, I'm thinking, you know, why, why wasn't this on my radar? You know, I'm so glad I did it because, you know, we, we're, we've set ourselves up for a great financial future, but if we're not going to enjoy it because we're not taking care of our bodies. Right. So, you know, everybody's listening to these financial shows, you know, thinking I need to do this and do that, but are they thinking about, are they going to have the mobility that goes along with, you know, having the financial future? Yeah. You know? see, see, this is why I say about Social Security. That's why I took mine at 66, okay? Or 66, yeah, that's it. Instead of waiting until I was 70. Because they've got it figured out. The average American male will live to be 74. So they can pay off for four years instead of paying off for eight years. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I ran all those numbers. And for me to catch up, I'd have been in my 80s to catch up. So the fact is, they know that. So you can push the financial end without the physical end, thinking you're going to make all this money and enjoy retirement, when in retirement you're actually spending more money to take care of yourself when it comes to medications and doctor's visits. Yeah, that's simple. Anyhow, phone number here at the studio is 602-260-5394. Here, I'm going to give it out again. Here, I'm going to make this offer. If you want to make these lifestyle changes, Jim is an example. His wife's in the studio. I won't embarrass her. She's doing it as well. She's working with Teresa. Okay. But anyhow, the next 15 people who call or text for my show or email me receive a free evaluation at any one of our value locations, a free consultation. And if you enroll in our program, the first time you're taken through your exercise routine in a private training studio like Jim, like Rowena, okay, like all the people come to see us, will be one-on-one -on -one with your trainer or coach. The first time if you enroll in a program. You're on my eating guideline, and Jim is a good example of what that will do for you. And you're accountable. The accountability comes because you're sending food journals that make sure you're sticking on your eating plan. Now, when you call or text or email me, I need the following information from you. Your name. The location you'd like to go to, we have two of them, and your phone number. Name, location, and phone number. Locations are Scottsdale. That's where I'm at, off of Via Dave and Tora and the 101. I'm inside of Jigsaw Health. I take the whole West, East Valley. That also includes Fountain Hills, Carefree, Cave Creek, Paradise Valley, Scottsdale, and all the East Valley cities all the way down to Tucson. Greg's in the West Valley, right down from the Arrowhead Mall off of 71st Avenue, Bell Road, in, inside the Fitness Institute. He takes that whole section of town all the way up to Prescott. Again, name, phone number, and location. You can email me by going to my website at zoomlance.com. Zoomlance.com. Send me an email from the contact page. Here's the phone number to call or text right now. 8157. I'll be calling my people today. Greg will be calling them during the week. 623-225-8157. Pick up that phone, make that call, send that text or that email. Be right back.